Back when I started at ASU in 1984, uh, I really had no training at all. Uh, they just put a, a paint gun in my hand and said, go out and paint the field. I don't have that many talents or skills in, in life. Uh, groundskeeping is one of them, so fortunately I, uh, I found my calling. And in this manicured world of beautiful Bermuda, that just might be the understatement of the last 30 years. Meet Brian Johnson. Do you have a moisture meter? Yeah. The now retired, but always moving, former head athletic groundskeeper for ASU, responsible for those iconic end zones and midfield logos for the Sun Devils since the mid 80s, is now known across the industry as one of the all-time greats. There's a lot of talented groundskeepers that can paint really well. I just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. And that time was Arizona's first foray into the big game when the NFL came calling for Super Bowl 30 back in 1996. His boss at the time saw something in him. But Don put in a good word for us and when the NFL got there, they realized they needed a little extra help. So there were a couple of us on the crew that they said, hey, can you help us uh, work the Super Bowl? And I'm like, you know, sure, I'll do that. Uh, you know, it doesn't get any better than that, really. And he's painted every field for every Super Bowl since then in his own unique way. We don't even use a stencil to outline the end zone letters. We kind of take a paintbrush and, and tape measures and strings and kind of outline all our letters. And then uh, without a stencil, just kind of freehanding it. But, you know, you do something, one thing so long over the years and you get pretty good at it. I feel like I could trim an end zone blindfolded. Let's just say retirement hasn't been exactly boring. The league kept him busy this season doing every game overseas, even the Cardinals game down in Mexico. I love to paint football fields and I love to travel. So to be able to combine those uh, was very, uh, very enjoyable. He's also done international soccer matches. And then there was that time he did a big favor for the hometown Diamondbacks. He came and painted uh, World Series logos in, in, in 2001 for us. Uh, he painted the center field logo for the to, for the uh, All-Star game in, in 2011. The league has gone into and started sending out stencils, but way back then there's always one. It's like we, we did it by hand. I know a lot of people in the, uh, around here locally that have worked for him have nicknamed him the GOAT. In all, does he have a favorite Super Bowl memory? Johnson says it was in Miami, and it wasn't the field or the game at all. But his role in the now memorable halftime show starring the one and only Prince. I was just right next to the stage, so I looked up and it was raining purple rain while he was singing purple rain. And uh, that's one of those moments in my life that I'll, I'll never forget. It didn't mess up his art, did it? No. The purple rain? <laughs> the rain? Not at all. <laughs> did it really rain? Oh, you were there, rained. no? Yeah. I was there. It yeah. was in Miami 2007. I was in the CBS production compound, and I went outside because we could see it on the television screens, and it was a downpour. <laughs> oh Prince gosh. almost got electrocuted because oh. of lightning. Whoa. Yeah, it was serious business. I can't get over the talent this guy has. I mean, it, it's... Yeah. And without a how stencil. How do you do that freehand? <laughs> and, and, and backwards. Yes, and backwards, backwards. And it's big. Yeah. How do you how do you even Huge. get the vantage point? Uh, it's, it's a lot of math. Yeah. And he's got one more thing on his bucket list. Yeah, he's done the Super Bowl forever. What else right. does he want to do? That's it. He wants to go to Pasadena, paint mm. the rose oh. in the middle oh. of the Rose Bowl for he'll, he'll do it. the granddaddy he'll of the ball. Yeah. Well, he's got I'm the resume it. for it. You know, and this right. is his job. This is what he does. <laughs> well, he's retired now from ASU, but he's been working for the NFL for every Super Bowl since 96. Wow. Cool nice little story. side hustle. Great Thanks, guy. Nice and he's job. been such a mentor to now all the people behind him now over mm -hmm. at ASU. All right, let's talk.